Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki and I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And for this session, I want to refer to this diagram here. And this is a reference uh, cloud-based data warehouse, data flow architecture that Microsoft has published. This is available on their website. Uh, I use it, it's a pretty handy reference to start discussions about how uh, data flow for a warehousing situation might be designed uh, in Azure. And uh, particularly, I want to talk about this idea of taking data from our source systems and storing it in file storage. Uh, this diagram indicates we would do it in blob storage. We sometimes prefer using Azure Data Lake, but regardless, the data is still being extracted from a source and put into files, which are then loaded into the data warehouse. And so the question that I get pretty frequently is, well, why would I uh, store my data in files, particularly if my source data is coming from a relational database. So maybe I'm pulling from my ERP system. Why would I take data from that system, store it in files, and then load it to my data warehouse? And so got a couple reasons why we, we, we might do that. Uh, first of all, it generally reduces the number of times that we need to access our source database. Uh, so by that, I mean I can extract files one time. I can use them particularly in development and testing. Um, over and over again without having to re-query my, my source database, and that generally is, is a good thing, right? The fewer times that we can touch our source database, um, the better. Um, the other, one of the other key benefits of doing this is that if I have that data from my application sitting in files, I can use that data for any number of analytic cases. So my work may begin with, hey, I want to build this data warehouse and I need some data from my system. So, okay, I pull that data out and I build my data warehouse and that's great. But with the data sitting in those files, I can use any number of other analytical tools, things like Power BI. I can view those files, do some analysis right on those files. You know, Hive, Spark, Databricks, I can use tools like that to do an analysis. Uh, on my application data without, again, having to go back to the application. So by having my data available in those files, it gives me um, a, a wide variety of opportunities for analyzing that data. The other big reason that I prefer to do this is, is more and more I prefer in a data warehouse loading scenario to separate the process of extracting my source data from the process of loading it to the data warehouse. And so this kind of gets into a little bit more of just architecture and some cloud, more modern cloud-based patterns. Uh, we could use the word service-oriented architecture or microservice, uh, but the idea is that I really like to build a separate process for pulling data from my source system and then a process to load to my data warehouse, whereas traditionally those things are kind of combined together where I've got one big ETL process, it pulls data from my source, it does transformations, and it loads into my warehouse. But in a scenario where that data warehouse load fails, then generally I have to re-extract data from my source system. And by separating, again, that process of extraction from loading, I can um, you know, minimize the number of times I have to extract data. And that's just handled as a separate process altogether. The other reason I might want to keep data in file storage is in the scenario where that source system goes away for whatever reason. It gets sunsetted, it gets migrated to a new platform, etc. cetera. Uh, and in that case, uh, at some point in time, my source data may no longer be available. And if I have that data available in files, then I can use it for um, you know, analyzing legacy data or, or whatever the case may be. But if that system goes away, I still have the data. So. Those are just a few reasons why I might want to store uh, my data in files prior to loading it to the data warehouse. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions about data warehousing in Azure uh, Cloud Data Platform, please reach out to us. We'd love to talk with you more about it. Thanks for watching.